take you down! Ultimate Full Faction Blast! But it is Ultimate Villoc! Or otherwise known as the ultimate villain of Bakugan Geogon Rising. Featuring seven new Bakugan toys and seven new Bakugan cards exclusive to this set. All of these Geogon can be found elsewhere in other Geogon Rising packs for you to collect and combine. But the Ultimate Villoc set is the only place where you can find these characters in the awesome Aurelis faction. Ultimate Villoc is the perfect rival for Geoforge Dragonoid. It's done! I am complete! My full power has arrived at last! So let's open it up, unbox it, and see what we've got inside. Okay, we've got our ultimate Villoc Geogon all unboxed. First up, Swarmer. We are getting started with a bang. You're going to love how it looks when Swarmer drops into battle. Oh man, what an awesome beetle shape. I don't think we've gotten a proper beetle Bakugan yet, so it's cool to finally have one in the form of Swarmer. But don't forget, you want to pop open his little stinger tail. Just look at this guy, the shiny gold paint, the sort of pearlescent translucent gold plastic. 1100 B power, but you get another 300 B power when you're on a shield core, which is really pretty good for only two energy. And of course, if you win a battle, you get to activate your team attack, dealing a whole bunch of damage. But I'm sure you're wondering, how do you get this guy set up to be combined into Ultimate Villoc? You might be a little bit nervous to click this out because it does click really strongly into place, but that's necessary if it's going to act as a leg for Ultimate Villoc. The rest of the parts, you close right up, then extend that little peg, all leggy and ready to go. Let's move on. For once, we have an oblong cuboid that is not a Talan. No, Insectra is a brand new Geogon with a, a really incredible transformation, so let's jump right to it. This Geogon is as large as my hand. It makes such good use of the flat paneling that its cuboid shape allows for, creating this really awesome sort of dragonfly looking Geogon. And gosh, the reflected paint on its wings really make it look like, like awesome, like refracting dragonfly wings. 1200 B power, a little bit stronger than the base form of Swarmer. And of course, if you somehow miss with your Geogon, you get to reroll right away. And only one energy, so it's great at the start of the game and great for stealing your opponent's cores. Let's get Swarmer prepped to be a part of Ultimate Villoc. Its wings bend back like this. Its head closes up. You flip out the peg and bend its tail back, and there you have it. Stick to the end of the video, we're going to combine every single piece you see here into a, a, a crazy looking monster. Amphrog! Man, what is this shape? What's a five-sided shape called? Pentagon. Thanks, Mom. Pentagon. But not just any pentagon, this is a pentagon frog. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can do a frog impression right after we drop this Geogon into battle. Ribbit. 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 Yeah, you got three. That was a, a free a free performance. What an adorable Geogon. I mean, look at look at look at its eyes. Sort of sleepy froggy eyes. Even though he just looks kind of adorable in his Geogon form. Oh man. His art looks amazing. You wouldn't expect Amfrog to be so mean looking, but man. 1400 B power, 4 energy, ooh, and Shadow Strike on a Green Fist. And 500 B power on a Fire Fist. Oh, that's really cool. Amfrog is a great lesson on why not to judge a book by its cover. Because while it may look like a simple little adorable frog, oh man, you better watch out because this, he's gonna, he's gonna beat you up. I'm just gonna say it. He looks like he wants to beat you up. Pretty much all the Geogon in this set turn into legs. You want to look right over here in his little arm there and pop out this foot. There it is. But then you want to make sure to close up the rest of it, pull out that peg, and there you go. He's ready to leg. You. We'll get to you in a second. You. You're next. 
This is Bobadrill. What a cool sounding name for a cool, cool shape. As for what Bobadrill is supposed to be in monster form, well, let's take a look and find out. Ooh, that is awesome! What a cool transformation with these huge arms flipping out and over like that. It hardly looks like anything unless you really slow it down to see what the action is. He looks kind of like, a, like an ape or a gorilla or something like that in his posture, but his face is really interesting. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! He's a baboon! I think he's a baboon! Oh, that's awesome! And the power levels only keep rising. 4 energy for 1700 B power, and 500 extra B power on a magic shield! Good grief, if you get that on a 650 B magic shield, that's... Uh... Math... 2300... 2000... 2850 B power? That is crazy strong! Any opponent's going to have a hard time getting over that! And since the Geogon, you don't even have to use your own magic shield. You can steal your opponents. That's so cool. Reject Sphere. Return to Monkey. <laughs> Babadrill makes up the base form of Ultimate Villoc with all these holes on the outside for the various limbs to plug into. So all you gotta do for its transformation is flip up this little peg at the top so that Villoc can have a place to sit. Excellent. Moving on. You, Ghost Beast, you're up next. Ooh. Is it a ghost? Is it a beast? It's both! It's Ghost Beast! Woo! Ghost Beast has to be like the coolest name of anything ever. Ghost Beast. Wow! It doesn't give you any hint as to what it is when it opens, so let's take a look. Ooh, you mess with the Ghost Beast, you get the horns! Ghost Beast is sort of a bull-shaped Geogon. If you want to get the full effect, you gotta make sure you reach inside and flip out these little front hooves. The power levels just keep climbing. Ghost Beast, 1800 B power with another 600 on a helix core, that's... Oh man, uh, math! 3000? 3000 B power and you have everything added up? That's insane, man! I don't know where the ghost comes from, but I don't really care because it's that cool. Ghost Beast forms the other back leg of Ultimate Villoc, close him up into his barrel shape, and flip out this foot in the front, and this peg in the back, and he's ready to combine. Next one! We're almost at the end! You! Over in the corner! Get over here! This is Skyhorse. Skyhorse is a shape called an octagon, which has eight fantastic sides and eight awesome angles. Let's drop it into battle and see how cool it really is. Oh man, that is awesome looking! This is- it's a- it's a seahorse, basically. And some people call seahorses sea dragons, which a, a sea dragon of the sky is just a dragon again. But no, this is a seahorse of the sky! Sky horse! You are not gonna want to forget to bring this octagon to battle. 2200 B power for 7 energy might not compete with a lot of Geogon, but with 15 damage, that makes Skyhorse a fantastic Bakugan for those heavy hits or damage wins strategies. I do know that technically this is an octahedron, and technically this is a pentahedron, and not an octagon or a pentagon because those are flat, but octagon is fun to say. Octagon. Skyhorse is also simple to turn into a leg. Flip its foot out, close its head, and flip out its little peg. There you go! And last but not least, Villoc himself. Let's go, buddy, you and me! Yes, Villoc is the only round Bakugan in the entire set, and a beautifully painted one at that. So let's see how he rolls. Boom! Nailed it! What an awesome looking, mean looking Bakugan. Fitting for the ultimate villain. 300 B power, 7 damage, but you get to use two of the best cores in the game, so Villoc gives you a lot of utility. In fact, a lot of these cards are more about utility and variety than sheer power level. Though the power levels are amazing, these cards give you a lot of different strategies and will fit into a lot of different kinds of decks. So cool. But enough about all that, let's combine these into Ultimate Villoc!
First things first, plug Villoc into Babadrill. Next up, take Insectra and plug it in right there to make its tail. And from there, we can go down the line. Ghost Beast in the back. Swarmer in the back. And then Amfrog and Skyhorse right up front. And boom, Ultimate Villoc is complete. He is just as much of a beast as all of the Geogon that combined to make him. With four mean looking legs stomping around, what a formidable opponent. And we're going to need a similarly formidable opponent if we want anyone to be able to fight him. If only there was someone that could possibly come to the rescue to stop this monster. It's Geoforce Dragonoid, here to save the day! Fight, fight, sting, punch, sting, kick, kick, stomp, stomp. Villoc wins this round. The winner is... Villoc. That truly was incredible power. But I just... I'm so tired. But surely evil won't be able to triumph forever. Well, only you're gonna be able to decide that. All of these Arliss Geogon are exclusive to this set. But if you're a clever hunter, you might be able to find the individual pieces of Ultimate Villoc in other factions. But let's break it down. Oh, and did I mention that Ultimate Villoc comes with an exclusive gate card? Look at that, that is so awesome. This is the only card that has the full Ultimate Villoc form on it. Very powerful for our list too. 600, dang. There we go, that's Ultimate Villoc. If you like this video, smash the like button. And if you want to see more like it, subscribe to the Bakugan official channel for more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time, Bakugan fans. Full episodes of Bakugan are now streaming on Netflix. Watch more videos below.